What is up? I'm Moana Turtle and today we have another Cosmic Eclipse opening. So I just checked in. As far as character rares go, we are one short of the non-GX versions and that is the Torkoal Flannery one. The turtle one, of course, that's going to be the last one. So we are hunt on the hunt for a character rare Torkoal. Um, we also still need the Vile Plume and the Reshiram one, but those ones will be harder to get. So I feel like that's very a reasonable. Um, we have a reasonable chance of getting that Torkoal so we're gonna be hunting for that but I have a question for you before we get into the opening and that is what you guys are interested in seeing in as in the next uh, few weeks as far as openings go uh, we can obviously continue with the cosmic eclipse but uh, if you want to go if you're more interested in seeing some more hidden fate stuff um, or other sets I don't know burning shadows maybe I can get some hold of that if you want to go for that um, rainbow Charizard again but uh, yeah let me know in a comment down below what it is you would like to see and we'll see what we can do so Without further ado, let's get into some more Cosmic Eclipse. We are wrapping up our booster box, and uh, I have high hopes. You know, yesterday's video, we did finally get a, uh, a card that we've been searching for. I don't want to spoil it, but uh, we didn't do too hot on the secret rare kind of uh, rarity, I guess. But, so I have high hopes for this last part of this box. And here we go. We have Mallow and Lana. Island Challenge Amulet. Erica. A Dupider. A Palm. Onyx. <laughs> Tepig. That's cute. A Sandtru. A Crabominable. It's uh, got a big snowball or something. And then a Beware. What do you do? As long as the Pokemon is on your bench, your active Pokemon. Oh, you know what? That's not bad. It does have to evolve though. Um, yeah, I think if it didn't have to evolve, that's a pretty cool power. It's not as good, or it's very similar to Zero Aura in a way. All right, pack number two, we have Darkness Energy. And one thing we did talk about last video is now whenever we get a like an Ultra Rare or something like that, we're going to be looking at the centering. You know, the centering is god awful in this set so far at least in this initial print run we'll see if things improve and boom there is our character rare not the one we're looking for but hey we'll take it we got Gallade and Wally I can't remember and then a Swoobat let's check that centering Ooh, actually it's weird you know I up till very recently I feel like they're all kind of like shifted to the right but here's another one that looks really good centering wise so we're actually going to grab a penny sleeve for you so we can send you off to PSA. I am super interested in a PSA 10 collection of all the character rares. All right, that was only two packs and we got our first hit. We'll take it. Although we want some hits in the rare slots. That's where we've been hurting lately. Code card. And uh, actually, we'll do a quick Twitch plug, and we've been giving away these codes for, not for codes, yes, and we've been trading away packs in the PTCGO game. So, uh, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings catch us on Twitch, and we do stream on YouTube as well. However, the Streamlabs plugins, I don't believe it really works very well for YouTube, and Twitch definitely works a little bit better. So, we have a spiel. So, definitely join us on there. End of story for there. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do. Ooh, we got something. We got, ooh, is that like a hyper rare? All right, one, two, three, boom. Oh my gosh, great catcher. We were lucky enough to trade for one of these in pre-release, and now we got our second great catcher. You know, I feel like with all the trainers like Lily, like Cynthia, where it doesn't matter if you discard, uh, you'll bring your, your hand size back, you know, so Valley, things like that. This card has so much potential. The only thing I think is holding it back right now is the fact there are so many non-GX strategies that are viable right now. Because this only works on EX or GX Pokemon. Um, I would say that it's that's the thing that's holding it back. But other than that, this card is absolutely amazing. Again, with all those supporters and a lot of cards where you want to discard. You know, like Mewtwo, like Malamar, like Naganadal. Discarding two cards is almost like, oh, you're looking for ways to discard cards. So, oh man, what an absolutely great hit. Great catcher. Such a great card. Oh. <laughs> I need to use a different adjective. That What an amazing pull. <laughs> Let's go with that. So, all right, that was the rare slot card we are looking for 
monster hit right there, guys. Do me a favor, hit that like button, and let's keep going. We're still hunting for that Torkoal, though. Let's not let's not forget our mission here. Roxy, very nice card. Professor Oak setup. Pyroar. Nat 2. Palpitoad. Jangmo O. Deerling. A Golet. A Mallow and Lana. Ah, I don't like this card. And a Slurp Puff. Don't know much about that Pokemon, but whenever I see him, like, hmm, that's a, that's a strange one. All right, I am demolishing this pack. If you do manage to snag a code card and you pull something awesome, let us know. And uh, actually, the pull rates have been really good. I did do a a video where we opened. I don't know, 50 plus packs, and we got some awesome pulls. I was like, oh man, I wish we could switch my real pulls, IRL pulls with those, I think we would be better off. Alright, Carvana, Tepig, a Lily's Poke Doll. I feel like there could be some kind of broken mechanics out there. Um, Get Wrecked is trying to figure out some of them with us uh, while we're streaming Twitch, and it's very interesting. Haven't nailed it down yet, but I'm sure there's a way to kind of make things busted with that card. All right, really good opening so far. Let's see, we got Grass Energy, Draw Energy, Unidentified Fossil, Rapidash, Rowlet, Phantom, Alolan Grimer, Magnemite, Eevee, another Weavile, and then we have, ooh! All right, this is the first time we've opened on camera the Venusaur Snivy. Cool card. I think it's not good enough, but it's kind of, I'm not sure how they could have made it like viable without making it overpowered. With this Shining Vine ability, if you, um, basically when you attach a Relief Energy to this, you can basically switch your active Pokemon Pokemon. And uh, um, card for your, uh, sorry. Attached to a point energy card from your hand, it may you may switch one of your opponent's active bench Pokemon. So you get to pick, and therefore, like this thing is so powerful. But the con uh, thing here, it does have to be your active, and therefore, I don't think it's good enough with only four stump for four energy, only doing 160. Don't think it's strong enough, but a really cool card. Um, I feel like again, you know, I just said this, not strong enough, but I'm not sure how they could have made it. Just a little bit stronger without being. I feel like it's a very thin line between eh, not good enough to way overpowered. All right, so that's a very good hit right there. Full art, great catcher, such a such a good card. Look at this. All right, so this is a good example. Um, you kind of see the top is pretty thin compared to the bottom, so that's kind of like those centering issues I've been talking about. Probo pass, Torkoal. Ah, Torkoal. We need uh, you and your friend though. Rowlet, Phantom. A Lolan Grimer, Magnemite, a Tepig is a reverse, and a Kung Fu Panda Bear. Even though it's not a panda, that's just what it reminds me of. I'm hoping for you guys, but for same, I'm hoping similar thing happens to you guys. But for me, once I saw it, I could not unsee it. Just looks like a, the an, looks like an animated from an animated movie, similar to Kung Fu Panda. Alright, yeah, so this is kind of like what I was expecting, where the previous opening is like, hmm, where's all the good rare slots? And here they are, with a full art and a secret rare. We have a Slugma, Willimer, Jang Mo O, off center again, and then a Braviary. But this one's okay. Fortunately, it's just a Braviary. Alright, looks like we have four packs remaining. Let's try to get one more good hit. Maybe one more character rare would be nice. Come on, Torkoal. Tropius. Mimikyu. Lily's Poke Doll. Ponyta. Sunkern. Cosmog. A Psyduck. Trapinch. Passimian. Super off center again. And then a Whale Lord. Whale Lord, I feel like, is rarely viable, although there is a cool Blastoise deck that uses 
Quagsire, and there's a couple other things to kind of help ramp. I think there was even some Naganadals in there, but then to basically set up your Wailord Magikarp with its GX attack to do 100 damage to everything, especially when, again, when there's a lot of non- GX strategies out there just to wipe out, you know, all the Malamars and such. Very interesting. Iglybuff, Rufflet, Oddish, Rolts, Sandy Gast, Sfeel, a Whimsicott Reverse, and a Seismitoad. And if you're ever curious learning about the competitive side, we do stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings. We're by no means super good, but we are trying to learn, and there are a couple of viewers that we play with uh, constantly that kind of show us, <laughs> help us improve significantly. Looking at you, Get Wrecked. So thanks for thanks for all your help and bringing us the competitive knowledge that you have. Drillbur, a Swirlix, Cricketot, Woobat. Ooh, another character rare. Oh man, this is. It's actually this always had ooh another very good card in this Mimikyu, super useful in the Malamar deck. It's kind of like a one of that's really can be kind of like shut down Mewtwo decks. Um, this is kind of like the Power Plant only. It only applies to Pokemon that have a damage counter on it. But the things like Giratina and Spell Tag, that's very easy to achieve. And then we got the Jasmine uh, Steelix. Let's see. Okay, you know what? I might have been wrong. Like our first handful of packs, like. The character rares were like crazy off center, but this box seems to seems to be fixed. This is another good one, so put that aside for PSA. Ooh, once again, two character rares, two hits, only this time we've upgraded them to a full art and a secret rare. Successful opening. Didn't get the character rare we we're looking for. It's kinda like when you get down to a couple left and then you know, it's super difficult to pull. I'm sure the pull rates are evenly distributed, at least between most of these character rares. Actually, that's probably not true, but I doubt Torkoal is the super rare one. But when you just need that one, it takes a surprisingly long time to get it. Alright guys, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Again, hit let me know in a comment down below what you would like to see going forward. Ah, Caitlyn Cynthia. I've been mixing a couple of these into my Malamar decks and I feel like it's pretty good. Kind of gives it some longevity, helps it, makes you, uh, make sure that you have plenty of supporters for all your turns. But yeah, let me know in a comment down below. Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fate, something else, let us know. And uh, we have a Santru. Delmise is our reverse for our last pack. We have Ooh, Oricario. That's another really good one. In case you're not familiar with this card, it does have a very unique ability. Once during your turn before, um, if you're if you had it took a knockout last time, it's kind of like Rosa. And that you get to draw three cards. You can only use this once per turn. Really useful. Haven't I haven't tried this yet. Maybe this is could be go into our Malamar deck as well. But uh, all right, we got some really good cards, two character rares, well centered. That's a big deal. <laughs> and Jasmine and like, Wally, I'm not sure. Oricario, regular rare or regular art, but that's a really good card. A full art and Venusaur Snivy, and then boom, great catcher. That is amazing. But uh, yeah, so a very successful opening. Overall, I'm really happy with the results of the box. Seems like they kind of up the ratios to you kind of get like one hyper rare, one secret rare uh, per box. So really happy with that. But um, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. We have a good number of exciting videos. I've been trying to put some stuff together to do a uh, video about the tragedy that is fake card so stay tuned for that and then uh, we also have a lot of stuff coming in the mail so a mail day will probably be a mail episode will probably be in the very near future so stay tuned for that if any of that sounds interesting guys make sure you hit that sub button and bell for notifications but uh that's all for today as always thanks for watching i'm wanna turtle and i'll catch you guys next time